Hola y bienvenidos al show de DC. Soy de Afertrion Tikedi y... Oh, what? Huh. Right. Apparently this is not the um, Spanish uh, recording for the show. So, um, take two. Hello everybody and welcome back to the DC show. I am your host, TKD, owner of the Diacraft Minecraft server. Our IP is 198.12.65.52.25765. You can also reach us at diarcraft.engine.com. Some of you may notice that I look a little bit different this week. It's because I got my hair did. I got my clothes on. I'm wearing green now, but my hair is cuter. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, I got a new skin. Same face, but I have my hair a little different. I hope you guys like it. I wanted a little change. Sorry we missed an episode last week. It was just way too hectic with my birthday and all the events that happened, and I wasn't able to get an episode out. So I apologize for that, and I hope I'm able to make up for it. This week, we will announce the winner of the commercial contest. Now, my entries that I received were all very good, so thank you everyone who participated. I was hoping to see some funny commercials, but it seems that most of you are more comfortable making promos, which is still good. But I hope one day you'll be a little more confident and put some voice to your commercials and try again. I'm always looking for some funny stuff to stick on the DC show. So if you happen to make your own commercial and you can send it to me and I approve it, I will include it in the show. I want to say thank you to all of my awesome players who gave me all of those birthday presents. You guys are so thoughtful and everything was just, you guys are great, the greatest. I mean... I love you all, not in a pedophile way, not in a weird way, just in the awesome way where an owner loves her awesome players. Speaking of cool presents, not only did I get a bunch of cool stuff and have a birthday party with cakes and secret rooms and trap doors and a statue of me that had a roller coaster in it, which was awesome, I might add. Everything you guys have done was just really, really made my day so special. And here, if you can see, I am standing at our PvP spawn. This was a gift. This whole spawn building was a gift from one of our players. So as you can see, it's quite large. And it is very beautiful. And, um... Anyway, it's a great addition to Direcraft. So, thank you very much, Jens. It's, it's beautiful and um, it's greatly appreciated. Well, I know you're all probably dying to know who won the commercial contest. So, without further ado, here is the winning video. Congratulations to Mintcraftian, you sir have the winning video. Just love me some Mario. What can I say? I can't deny the Mario. And now, for my favorite segment, whoa, camera person, extreme close-up much, scoot back. Thank you. Not that far back. Come on. There. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. And now, for my favorite segment, Ask TKD. Thank 
This question comes to us from Mr. Bricks. Dear TKD, how do you choose the questions to put in the show each time? Well, I pick questions that I hear most often and the ones that I think will benefit people on the server. And sometimes I just pick questions based on how I feel, you know, like my mood for the day. So, I mean, there's no real formula to it. It's just, if you're lucky, you're lucky. And, um, yep, next question. This question comes to us from Random Girl 12345. She says, Dear TKD, what was the most aggravating thing that ever happened to you? Hmm. It's a tough one. But I think it was probably when I built my very, very first house ever. And I was worried that people would grief it, so I built it really, really, really far underground. And, I mean, it took hours and hours to build it, and then I decided I wanted to have my own animals. I mean, who wouldn't want to have their own animals? Well, of course, the downside of having a house that's way, way, way underground is you have to lead the animals way, way, way underground, too. So, I spent hours, even days, probably, getting two of each animal all the way down into my underground fortress. And then they were there for a few days, and I was so happy and excited because it was self-sufficient. And one day I went down there, and they were gone. All of them were gone. I was so upset that I, I literally almost rage quit and never came back. I mean, that's how upset I was. So that was probably the most aggravating thing that's ever happened to me. So what did I do instead? I ended up getting all the animals back, putting them all back in, and only to find them disappear two days later. And that was probably the last time that I ever brought animals down underground that far. So, next question. This question comes to us from Mr. Bricks again. It says, Dear TKD, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wasn't fuzzy. Was he? Actually, little known fact, I happen to know Fuzzy. He and me are tight. And quite frankly, he actually looks more like a ginormous naked rat. I mean, look for yourself. Here's this picture. Next question. This question comes to us from Ninja Monkey Dude. Dear TKD, what was your most memorable and plain awesome rage. Hmm, I was actually a little reluctant to answer this because I don't want somebody doing this to me again. But since I trust you guys, right? I can trust you, right? Yes? Mm hmm. Everybody shake your head. Yes? Okay. Since I can trust all. Hey, you didn't shake your head. I need some head shaking. Very good. Okay. So, there I was, building a cathedral, you know, like a giant church, and it, this church was taking me forever, like probably two weeks, and since it was taking so long, I had my, you know, my dogs on site with me, and I had made a tree farm on the side of the church so I could use the wood to help with the build, and along came Mr. Jerkface. I won't even say your name, but I still, you were the one person on Minecraft that I just can't stand. Oh, you make me angry! So... Anyway, along came Mr. Jerkface, and he decided he was going to kill my dogs, and he did it rudely. He drowned some, and as I was trying to save them, he went over and he knifed my other dogs. He killed every single one. And as I was very upset about that, he proceeded to go over to the tree farm. Those trees were reserved for the church. I planted them. They were mine, and I told him to stop. Please stop. Those are my trees, and he kept destroying them, and then to make matters worse, he took the wood that he got from my trees, and he made signs, and he wrote some nasty, nasty things on those signs, things that I can't even say to you they were that bad. So, I, of course, was very upset, and um, then I started destroying the signs that he made because they were not appropriate, and he started calling the mod saying that I was griefing because I was destroying his signs, the signs that he made from the wood from my trees from my church that had horrible things written on them. And I was so angry that, yes, that was the one time that I actually rage quit, the only time I've ever rage quit. Ooh, so angry. Well, so at the end of the day... After my rage quit, uh, of course I reported him, and I had screenshots to prove it, and he was banned permanently from the server, and the church building went on, and it was finished, and it was fantastic, and now that server's gone, 
along with my church. Next question. And now for our final question of the night. This question comes to us from Skate1111. He says, Dear T. Katie, why do Premium Plus, that's a rank on our server, not get access to do slash Nick themselves? Do I really need to answer this? Really? Why couldn't somebody have access to you slash Nick for themselves? Let me count the reasons. One, that's a retarded question. Two, I'm not going to run around and have people having poopy fart face names on my server. Three, thank you for asking it. No questions are stupid. I retract my first statement. Anyway, that's why people don't get Nick. Uh, it's to make sure that consistency with names and family-friendly safety is maintained. But if the Nick you choose is reasonable, I have no reason to keep it from you. So so it shouldn't be an issue that you can't slash Nick yourself. Well, that concludes this week's episode of the DC Show. If you have any questions that you'd like to add to the show, please feel free to do at diarcraft.engine.com and go to the forums under Ask TKD and you can post them there. Back by popular demand is the Derp for the Week. Once again, this is my response to a mod application that I have received. I hope you guys have a great week, and I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm.